Israel tests new technology that could reduce airport security checks and make flights safer. And so what Israel's saying is they haven't had an incident in over a decade. In 2002, a guy forgot uh, to check a gun. He was somebody who was allowed to fly, but he forgot to check it. And then he later reported himself. They, they never have any instances because they do profile. And they do have some real Arab terrorists over there that do want to get on planes. I mean, some of that is real. Uh, and Israel hasn't had an incident in over a decade other than the 2002 gun incident where it was an accident. I mean, Jimmy Jones of the Cowboys twice brought guns on planes accidentally, forgetting, I mean, anybody who's got a brain has a gun in their briefcase. And uh, I've forgotten before and been at the airport and noticed a pocket knife and just trashed it. A uh, little bitty pocket knife, a uh, little bitty pioneer, old timer. I got a couple of them. But the point is, is that all of that goes on. And so now Israel's saying, hey, we're going to have biometric scanning and we're going to have biometric thumbprinting and we're going to have ID cards. And so the two are merging even worse to make something completely nightmarish. I have the AP right here reporting it. OK, uh, let's go ahead and talk to Mike in California. Mike, you're on the air. Hey, Alex, um, I had a couple of questions. Um, could you um, elaborate on what you know of some of the uh, odd underground weapons you know that the elite may be working on, stuff like uh, Project Blue Bean and, and other stuff that you probably know of but I guess really talk about? And the other question is, how much will uh, race play in how the elite envision the world they want to uh, make or create in the future? Race plays a central role in divide and conquer, playing different groups off against each other with the government playing the part of the referee and judge that keeps everyone in line while their private foundations play everyone off against each other. Uh, Hitler disagreed with George Bernard Shaw, who they both admired each other. Bernard Shaw said, do IQ test and kill everyone uh, with under a 90 IQ. And then over time, phase it up to 100 and make a super race, kill everyone who isn't a good socialist, break up the family. Hitler said, I agree with that, but we're only going to kill the sub-races. And then later, we're going to start culling to only the ultra-superior Aryan. And they made a deal with the uh, emperor of Japan, who was obsessed with eugenics. That's mainline history. He said the Japanese will rule Asia as the master race, and the Germans with the British, the Germans actually believe the British, you really read Hitler and Goebbels' writings, were the ultra-supreme, undefiled uh, uh, Aryan. Because there have been so many Eastern European and Arab, I mean, the Arabs even went into Western Europe. And so they believe that, 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 that even the Germans were not as ultra-pure as a certain strain of Briti. That's where the term British comes from, as a tribe known as the Britties. And it's all complete hogwash. It's, 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 it, it's, it's, Again, uh, you can't even single out the Britties as a distinct tribe. All those Germanic tribes were always killing and ranging and running around. But England is as Germanic as you can get. I mean, I mean, in in the genetic studies that have been done, that because they all came from the Gauls in France and from Germania and from the Vikings in Northern Europe, they all came and waged war in England for thousands of years. Thousands of years before the Romans showed up. It was just continual slaughter going on as the Germanic tribes killed each other. And so out of all this lore, that's why Hitler cried when he had to bomb London, they said. And then the British flew over and bombed Berlin. Hitler wouldn't bomb population centers because the British Aryans were too precious. But then uh, Churchill said, we've got to get British resolve behind this. And so they sent a bunch of liberators, a squadron of liberators, to bomb civilian centers. This is mainline history. I've seen this on History Channel. Uh, to bomb um, Berlin. And so Hitler started the Blitz. And he cried, oh, his precious Aryans were dying. His precious, the Brits. Oh, oh, it's horrible. I, I mean, this is how sick these people are, ladies and gentlemen. And... Uh, Whenever he flooded the the bunkers and the subways so the Russians couldn't use it, so he'd have a few more hours uh, in his bunker, he said, well, I guess our Aryans weren't as good as their Aryans, and now I'm just worried the Russian Mongols will take over. Oh, this is horrible. Uh, let me take cyanide. I mean, when you really know the history, folks, and, and not some skewed history, I have read 
No exaggeration, over a hundred thick history books, secret wartime reports, Nazi books. It's well more than, a, I've probably read 30 or 40 books by Joseph Goebbels, by Adolf Hitler, okay? These are books published by them. This is not propaganda. Hitler was a communist. Joseph Goebbels was a communist. They wanted communism, but it wasn't popular. And when British intelligence was funding them, they wanted their own brand of communism to block Russian communism. And then they became from National Socialist to fascist and then became anti-communist. And that's all on record. Uh, and uh, Stalin admired Hitler. Hitler admired Stalin. They made a deal to divide Poland up. I mean, when you really know history. And so George uh, Bernard Shaw, that we'll be talking about later in the next hour, he said through the health departments, we're going to ban homeschooling. We're going to start with sterilization and drugging the water, and then we're just going to start killing everybody. And uh, he and Hitler exchanged letters. Shaw went and had repeated meetings. He had meetings with the head of IBM, Dr. Thomas Watson, and they all just said, well, the Soviets are putting fluoride in. That, 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 that's sterilizing and brain damaging people. Let's do that. But they couldn't get that done until 1946 in the United States. And they all wrote books. We own them. Then they all gave film interviews. I mean, I could play Hitler and video of him saying it. Film put the video. I mean, we're going to play Shaw coming up. Now, again, this audio was filmed in the 20s, this, this film, right when they were getting uh, audio and film. And so, uh, I mean, it's, it's bad audio. But you can read books he wrote saying it. And so all of this is to kill you. Kill you. Get it through your heads, folks. You... <sighs> no exaggeration. I would bet that Aaron Dykes has read more than 50. I know he bought more than 50, and he's always reading them. Books on eugenics by the eugenicist. And they are running everything today. And they are mad dog control freak psychopathic murderers. We all know.